Introducing the Mr. Good Media. Put in the effort. Go the distance. The lend hand man with a plan. Your host for the evening, John Clay. Let us explore the vastness of the internet, looking for information on anything from complex situations to fun facts. Ladies and gentlemen, turn up your sound and die with us down. And hi, you have me, John Clay, and uh, Sabrina Clay. We are going to be uh, taking you down the rabbit hole. So we're going to be looking and seeing what we can find on viruses today. Um, just kind of going over what's going, the basics of uh, what we're having to deal with in quarantine. So, of course, we're under quarantine for COVID-19, which is a virus. So let's type in virus and see what we can find. Virus on Wikipedia. So, a virus is a sub-microscopic infectious agents, agent that replicates only inside living cells of an organism. Viruses can infect all types of life forms from animals and plants to microorganisms, including bacteria and archa archaea. Hmm. So, it sounds like... I had never thought about that. Like, you know, we get infected by vi by bacteria, right? We uh, we have a bacterial infection. I had never thought that the fact that a virus could uh, infect a bacteria that was something definitely learned new. Did you know that? No. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So now, if we could just get the virus, the COVID nineteen, to attack bacteria instead, <laughs> um, then we end up with like some super bacteria. And then, since Dmitry Ivanovsky in 1892, article describing a non-bacterial pathogen infecting tobacco plants. Uh, in 1892, article describing a non And the discovery of the tobacco mosaic virus by Marinus Virginic in 1898. More than 6,000 virus species have been described in detail of millions of types of viruses in the environment. Wow, so we've got 6,000 viruses that we have described, I guess, like, I don't know what that means, and then millions of types of viruses in the environment. Lots of information on virus going on here. Um, so, and then viruses are found in almost every ecosystem on Earth and our most numerous type of biological entity. The study of viruses is known as virology, a subspecialty of microbiology. Okay. I'm like, I'm reading this and I'm sitting here, my mind's getting blown just trying to understand what the heck is being talked about here. Viruses are, are found in almost every ecosystem on Earth and the most numerous types of bio, of and are the most numerous type of biological entity. Oh, okay, now I get it. So, <laughs> you glad you think that's funny. The study of viruses is known as virology and sub subspecialty of microbiology. Okay, cool. Like, it all just went in a blur. I'm like, what? Okay, and so when infected, a host cell is forced to rapidly produce thousands of identical copies of the original virus. When not inside an infected cell or in the process of an infecting a cell, viruses exist in the form of independent particles or virions consisting of the genetic material, i.e. long molecules of DNA and RNA, that encode the structure of proteins by which the virus acts. When not inside an infected cell or in the process of infecting a cell, viruses exist in the form of independent Particles are virions consisting of genet genetic material, long molecules. Okay. Wow. I'm just trying to like read this and understand this in detail here. A lot going on to a little virus. A protein coat, the capsid, which surrounds and protects the genetic material, and in some cases an outside envelop lipids. The shape of these. Vi Bless you. I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? You're not saying a whole lot. You can talk more, Sabrina. Don't be shy. <laughs> well, I posted another link. 
comparing the COVID-19 virus to other viruses. Where did you post it? Uh, in the chat. I'm not seeing it in the chat. It should be on, on YouTube. It's not showing here. Oh, it says basically coronaviruses are families of viruses that can cause illnesses such as the common cold, severe acute respiratory syndrome, and Middle East respiratory syndrome. So what makes the, those coronaviruses different from those from SARS, COVID-2, the virus that causes COVID-19? Dr. Clay and Cal, a pulmonologist and chair of Mayo Clinic's Division of Preventive Occupational and Aerospace Medicine, says that SARS-CoV-2 shares both similarities and differences with other coronaviruses. The difference is what is underneath the microscope. Apparently, COVID-19 is one ninth hundredth of a width of a piece of hair. Holy crud. That is tiny. Here, can you try to see what's going on with the YouTube here? Well, that's kind of unusual. Did you, you said you put it in the chat? Yeah, I put it in the chat. It should have come up. So. Let me see. I'll go through the other stations and see what I'm missing. Oh, we're not ready for that. Okay. Ooh, sexual reproduction of a virus. Yeah. You don't even know what it entails. <laughs> Ew. How dare they reproduce? Can you imagine that when you get a virus, they're all just reproducing inside of you? That's gross. <laughs> uh, sexual reproduction is apparently gross, ladies and gents, boys and girls. I don't know why. Obviously, if you've uh, seen Sabrina's belly, she's uh, participated in sexual reproduction. Hey, <laughs> the table is covering my belly. Thank you. The table is covering my belly. Just shine it down. She does have a belly. <laughs> Anybody that knows her knows she has a belly right now. Bam. Big old baby belly. Okay, so back to the virus. So... The origins of viruses and the evolutionary history of life are unclear. Some have, some may have evolved from plasmids, pieces of DNA that can move between cells, while others may have evolved from bacteria. In evolution, viruses are an important means of hor horizontal gene transfer. There you go. Okay, so that means our periscope is working. But YouTube isn't. But you're not seeing the comments in YouTube. Which the comments are coming up on YouTube though. Weird. But they're not connecting with our thing. So we need technical difficulties, everybody. It'd be nice if you could get that figure out why. Well, I guess we can't right now. I can't really. That's fine. I'll take care of it later. But oh. go back to the virus. And go back to the virus. Don't talk about our technical difficulties. <laughs> I do not need a little blue pill, apparently. So, it was a joke. Get it? I'm not having technical difficulties. It's the computer that's having technical difficulties. Because the camera doesn't notice how red I am. <laughs> oh, it sees it. It sees your redness. We all see your redness. That's a joke. She's like, I'm going to kill you as soon as we get off this screen. <laughs> yeah, she might. The origins of the virus in the Lebanese. Eh. So, back to this. The origin of viruses in the evolutionary history of life are unclear. Some may have evolved from plasmids. I read all that. So, sorry, my wife got me off track. Which genetic... Which increases genetic ver diversities in a way analogous to sexual reproduction? Viruses are considered some, by some biologists to be a life form because they carry genetic material, reproduce, and evolve through natural selection. Although they lack key characteristics such as cell structure, they gen generally considered necessary, such as cell structure characteristics that are generally considered necessary to count as life. Okay. 
missed that right there. Don't pay attention. Because they possess some but not all such qualities, viruses have been described as organisms at the edge of life and as replicators. Scan it sounds scary. You know when you think about it, they kind of scare me. Stupid viruses. <sighs> How do you feel about a virus, Sabrina? Horrible little things. Yeah. That take over your body. That's how you feel? Yeah. Okay. You know what you can do about a virus. And then viruses spread in many ways. One transmission pathway is through disease bearing organisms such as known as vectors. For example, viruses are often transmitted from plant to plant by insects that feed on plant sap such as aphnids. And viruses in animals can be carried by blood sucking insects. Influenza viruses are spread by coughing and sneezing. Norovirus and rotavirus, common causes of viral gastroenteritis, are transmitted by the fecal oral route. Well, that's not. That sounds like some centipede type stuff. And then passed by contact and entering the body and food of water. HIV is one of several viruses transmitted through sexual contact and by exposure to infected blood. The variety of host cells that a virus can infect is called a host range. This can be narrow, meaning a virus is capable of infecting few species or broad, meaning it is capable of infecting many. Wow. Ew. Viral infections in animals provoke an immune response that are usually eliminates the infecting virus. Immune responses can also be produced by vaccines, which confer an artificially acquired immunity to specific viral infection. Some viruses, including those that cause AIDS, HPV infection, and viral hepatitis, evade these immune responses and result in chronic infection, infections. Several antiviral drugs have been developed. Bam. Okay. So, all of that just to learn about a virus. So, Did you know that they call COVID-19 a novel? A novel? Yeah. Well, apparently the virus is, the virus is called a novel because it started with an animal population was transmitted to a human and now can go from human to human our hmm. immune systems have never seen this particular strain of virus before so we haven't developed immunity so we, we don't have a vaccine for it at this point true okay so now let's talk about what's happened on this day as we will be back tomorrow better prepared going to the future yeah i gotta remember to like look at the camera because i want to like look at the screen and then i want to look at that screen and i want to look at that screen but then i forget the people that might be watching this and y'all see me through the eyes of the camera so now i look like i'm just going back and forth Ooh, it's craziness okay so on april 27th what has happened on this day in history in 1565, the first Spanish settlement in the Philippines formed at Cebu City. Cebu City. Interesting. In 1865, bless you, Pikachu. Yeah, look right at that camera. Yeah, look. It's the Pikachu. Okay, 1865. Don't say anything. This is 100 years later. Steamboat SS Sultana explodes in the Mississippi River, killing up to 1,800 of the, of the 24, 27 passengers on the greatest maritime disaster in the United States history. Most were periled Union POWs on their way home. Sad. A lot of people died. <laughs> Hit the button. Yeah, they were carrying free Union prisoners, as it says on my computer, when they all died. Mm. It's 1500 to 2000. Sad. Yeah. Okay, 1904, the Australian Labour Party under Prime Minister Chris Watson becomes the first Labour government in the world. 1945, Italian partisans capture Benito Mussolini at Dongo. Dongo. Do exactly, Dongo. They captured Mussolini. Okay. I, uh, ooh, let's see. For Mussolini was Italian. He was a bad guy, if I remember. Italian dictator. Huh. Never really looked at You see Mussolini there, babe? That's Mussolini. He was scary. Don't want to find him in a dark alley. Ooh. You hear that, ladies and gents? She does not want to find <laughs> Mussolini in a dark alley. I think a lot of people would say that. 
So, uh, what is it talking about? In the capacity, he governed Italy from 1922 until he, his dis dismissal in 1943 following Italy's collapse in World War II. Yep, so Italy collapsed in World War II, and he was out of power. He wasn't a good guy from what I understand. Yeah, creating a strong alliance with Adolf Hitler's Nazi Germany. Mussolini sought to establish an empire of his own. He annexed Ethiopia and officially joined the war on the side of Germany in 1940. And that happened. So, Mussolini was not a good guy. He... On a positive note, apparently in 1938, a colored baseball was used for the first time in any baseball game. The ball was yellow and was used between Columbia and Fort Hamm Universities in New York City. <laughs> <laughs> what year was that? 1938. And they used a colored baseball? Mm-hmm. But it was yellow. Okay. <laughs> Interesting fact. <laughs> 1938, they used a colored baseball. Yep. From Mussolini to baseballs. 1947 is Babe Ruth Day was celebrated at the Yankee Stadium. Today? Yes. Well, how come I'm not seeing any of these happy things? Like, mine are all like, <laughs> death. Well, you know, no Spanish settlement in the Philippines was good. <laughs> that was not on a happy thing. Uh, what's okay? Let, let, let's see what mine mine is. I got one more here. One more fact. Okay, the super jumbo jet aircraft, the Airbus A380, makes its first flight from Toulouse, France. Well, that's pretty cool, right? Yeah. See, not a bad thing on this day. Big jumbo aircraft. Ooh. I wanted to ride on a jumbo aircraft before. This is cool. See, here's a fact for me right here. Oh, you know what? I haven't been... I didn't go back to... Did I ever... Hmm? You weren't telling me that that was what was showing up on this screen. Oh, you, you never saw that. Man, I wonder if I did that the whole time. What? Not having the actual... Were you actually able to watch it? Yeah, I was seeing it. Okay, so you saw the stuff that was going on on... Yeah. Okay. Cool. My bad. I thought I had messed up, because it said down the rabbit hole I had the whole picture. I didn't know what was going on. But see, now we have undefeated world heavyweight boxing champion Rocky Marciano retires from the ring. That was a, that was a big deal, right? Bam. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's our electrical like this. The Ultima, yeah. There's our Ultima. Okay. So, I'm over and out. We're done for the day. This has been interesting. i got to figure out YouTube once again. So, if you know us, you know what we do. Bam. We sell um, apparel, and we do personal training so if you want check us out all assessments are free and we make some cool, cool clothing we'll make you whatever you want so again check us out see what we can do for you hope you're having a great day we'll see you tomorrow hopefully in the morning I haven't figured out a time yet but I'll get around to it and uh, if you watch this thank you for watching appreciate your lovely face please share this show it to your friends hit the like button that'd be cool Bye-bye.